So I was beginning to uh, do some tagging on Twitter, and I thought I would uh, just run through some of what my process is on this. Um, I'll show you the tweet I was getting ready to retweet. Um, first of all, I'm using Hootsuite, which I highly recommend because it, it enables you to syndicate tweets, but also to target your tweets at certain times of day. You should definitely be testing the time of day and what response you get. So test at 8 in the morning, 10 in the morning, noon. Sometimes people are checking lunch over uh, Twitter over lunch. So different times you're going to get better or worse response. And you should definitely be testing that. So I saw this, thought it was a cool opportunity to retweet someone and put out some good content at the same time. So their tweet is, customers want to talk about their business, not your solution, which is a fundamental principle in um, organic selling, I would call it meaning that you're selling a you're selling a solution to a problem. You're not just trying to make a sale. There's a fine line between those two. Uh, and in some cases, there's a big difference. So I want to uh, hit up this person, give them some pub, perform, performance first. I want to drop in some hashtags. They didn't have these hashtags in, but I'm going to go ahead and do that because I also want to reach across some different lines and grab some attention while I do this. Now, I want to drop in the customer first hashtag right here after this. See, I quoted it. Always quote, put quotation marks around it. You probably don't need to have this space in here, but I always put it in here so the hashtag stands out a little bit better. But I always want to put quotation marks in here because it makes the, the core of your tweet stand out better. So it's not just a bunch of words. I'll show you here real fast. This is what it's going to look like without quotation marks. See, it all just kind of blends together. It even blends with their Twitter handle. And this is a problem with having an underscore as a Twitter in your Twitter handle. It kind of messes with it a little bit. It's not a killer, but it's definitely something that's not as good as having one solid word. So now I'm going to put my drop in my quotation marks again. In my opinion, quotation marks make your hashtags post the tweet makes your uh, hashtags after the tweet much more effective because again, it makes it stand out. So now the reason I'm going to, uh, th this is what gave me the idea to, to uh, make this a little short tutorial is what I wanna know is, is customer first more popular as a hashtag than customers first? So let's go check Twitter. So I open up a different tab. I'm gonna search customer first. And I'm going to hashtag it because that's what I'm doing here in the first place. <clears throat> all right. All right. So here's a couple of things we look for. Um, I want to look at how often it is posted. So if there are a hundred hashtags, but within three or four hashtags, it runs back several months. It's not as popular, but this is all in the same day, and it looks like we've got a pretty good spread. You also want to check and see if the same people are posting it. But you can see this is John Lang. This is Web Easy. This is Aurelia Noel. And um, so you can see you've got a pretty good spread. We're going now going back a couple of days. You know, this isn't a super sexy hashtag, so you're not going to have a ton. It's not going to be like, you know, one direction or some other popular i don't even know who the popular um youth bands are but you know it's not going to trend as well as something in pop culture but i've already had to scroll a couple of times you can see here by the scroll bar i'm halfway through the page and i'm just back to the 11th which is last friday so we're good this is customer first is good now let's check customers first Okay, so that's good. The same images didn't pull. We've got a couple from today. We've got several from today. That's good. Let's just grab a random tweet and see what it's about. Love the job. The customers love you. Smile. You're awesome. Put your customers first. Okay. Now, another thing this will do is give you other uh, hashtags that are that might also be something you might like. Uh, the other thing it does for you, um, Hoover's is a, is a really good company. 
happen to know the guy that started that company. Um, but it's also going to introduce you to other people who might be in this vertical, uh, in this vertical idea. Treat an idea like a vertical, and it'll, it'll help you. So you can look around, see some other, maybe value something to keep in mind, but it's not going to work for this one. Okay. Marketing, maybe. Let's see what else. Customer experience, that's a really good one. I might drop that in mine. UX, if you're, if you, if what you tweet on trends toward web development, UX, user experience, you might tweet, uh, hashtag both of those. I might actually drop both of those in there. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. See how much room I've got. Oh, I got plenty. I have plenty for you grammarians. Okay. UX, capital. I'm going to capitalize that because I want it to stand out a little bit from what this one. Hmm, customer experience, I'm not going to have room for that unless I chop more of this down and I don't want to do that. I have five left. That's plenty. So I'm now going to put this out across several of my accounts. Now, one thing, the problem that I have right now uh, that you want to watch out for and be aware of, again, this is Hootsuite. This is the Hootlet. That's what it's called. Um, the problem that I, that I have right now is that several of my accounts overlap. So this account right here and this account have heavy overlap, meaning that close to or more than half of the followers on both of those accounts see both of those accounts. And what that means is they're going to get this twice in their feed. That bothers me a little bit, but not enough right now to, to burn down the house trying to get it taken care of. It's more important to me to put out good content, and I can apologize for that to anybody who's offended. One of the things I do uh, fairly often is I'll go back into my Facebook account because my Twitter account is tied to my Facebook, meaning that when I post on Twitter, it posts on Facebook. Because of that, uh, I'm going to go into my Facebook account because a lot more personal friends are on that. Uh, my Twitter account has is more professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Facebook account and clean that up every once in a while. Probably once a week I'll go in there and just rake out all the promotional stuff on there. Like if I've got an event or something coming up or I'm promoting a seminar or a tutorial, then I'll go through there and clean all those out so that my feed is not so cluttered with those things. Um, don't have quite the solution for that yet, but again, it's not a burning problem, especially with how much Facebook has choked down the feed. It's not as big a deal as it used to be. So now let's talk about uh, scheduling. We'll just see how Hootsuite works here. Um, I can pretty much put this out anywhere where I want to. Now, personally, I know that tomorrow, the 17th, I've got, I'm going to be out of pocket probably from 1030 to at least 130 or two. And if I end up scheduling a meeting or going to a happy hour, then that's only going to leave me another two hour section. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to post this about one o'clock tomorrow. So here's the 17th, one o'clock, 1 p.m. Make sure this is p.m. not a.m. That gets me all the time. You can choose to email me when message is sent, but I post, I schedule so much that I would just be in flux with email, emails all the time. So I'm not, I don't do that, uh, but you can. Um, I just go in and check every once in a while. I know what I'm posting. I know what should be out there. When I see something pop up in my feed, I will go and double check my other ones to see if they posted. So uh, again, your principles here are that you want to go and grab this other traffic that's exposed to these other hashtags. If I just left this here, it would just sit in my feed and wouldn't, I mean, if people see it, they see it. If they don't, they're not going to. But if somebody goes back and pulls customer first, and especially if they pull Austin, I locate a lot of my tweets. So they're going to uh, have location data on them. That means that Austin, customer first, or customer experience, user experience, customers, business, these are all hashtags that are going to pull my feed. So it's also going to uh, kind of expose me to other people that are interested in the same things. So it's a great B2B hashtag to use. Hope that helps. And if you ever have any questions, you can obviously always contact me uh, on my website, frontburnermarketing.net.